folks, today is the day where we jump into the darkest map possible here in CK3 and play, of course, Princess of Darkness, a genuinely amazing mod that I would bet most of you haven't touched because you look at this dude and you look at all the other dudes and you say to yourself, what the hell is actually going on? Look, I'm not gonna fault here because that is exactly how I feel, which is also why I constructed the straw man of all of you feeling exactly the same way. When I look at this religious map, I think to myself, you know what, I may just quit the game because nothing here seems to make sense. But over the last couple of years, every now and again I check out the mod, I learn a little bit more lore and I feel better about it. Because then I'm like, hey, this makes perfect sense one way or another. Today we're gonna explore Princess of Darkness from the perspective of the cool guys, by which I mean the Inquisition. I would like to hunt a demon, I would like to hunt a couple of vampires and see where we end up. Now I do want to add, if you are here now thinking, hey, this guy looks like a real expert on the lore of Princess of Darkness, then you are really, really bad at reading people because I'm quite the opposite which is why we should have a good time just jumping in. For starters, let me just clarify one thing that I actually took some time to understand. This map right here is not the actual map of Europe. We are in the year 1230 and historically speaking, everything is happening as it happened in our world. It's just that there's this flip side of the world, which is us, who rule the night. You can see the map is considerably darker and if we actually zoom in, I really love this. This does really look as though it is night and not just that, if I actually go into, for example, this person's code, boom, it's actually night. What you have to really understand here is that we are in the normal timeline, largely anyway, except there is this sort of shadow rule and we are a part of this. Oh well, really, we aren't, because in our case we are Rectrix Vittoria Santina di Parma, Bane of Witches, and we are part of the Shadow Inquisition. We're the people that are magical humans, but we're humans. We're not vampires, we're not ghouls, we're not werewolves, we're not any of that nonsense. We are here to get rid of the people that are commonly placed onto this map. Now that doesn't mean that we are any less crazy than, for example, Duke Camilla Pontifex Maximus of the Damned of Latium. This guy is Roman, yep, that kind of Roman, and he rules over the Christians right here. If we go up here, uh, wait a minute, there's, there's ugly vampires, ah, oh, there he is, my favorite, Duke Absalon, <laughs> the master of Denmark. A true Danish man right here. So basically, we might not be like them, but we're not like common humans anyway. We, you can see right here, this is much, much heavier on the roleplay aspect for CK3. Having a knight will mean much, much more because this guy might be, you know, one of the really, really good fighters if you have any of the magical traits. Obviously, vampires are stronger than us. You can see this right here. Um, prowess 30. What, what else is running around here? 36. I wonder what the highest prowess here on the map is. So the highest prowess in the world appears to be the question mark prowess. You lose! Urshulgi, Herald of Destruction. Who the hell is this guy? The Black Shepherd, the Hateful Spawn, Herald of Hakim, the Skinless One? Who the hell is this guy? See, that question, who the hell is that guy, is a question that I have asked myself quite a bit. And they've added a button, World of Darkness, which then gives you an event that basically explains to you who they are, where they came from, where they are right now, and where they are going in future Fate and Canon. So this guy, for example, is... Uh, let me read this here for a second. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, I still have no idea. So he's like related to Zoroastrianism and the Middle East in general, I guess. He's really pure evil. Can I see here? Is he like... He's just a vampire. Can I see the generation he is? Basically every or most vampires on this map come from Cain and then they are different generations because Cain bites people then others bite others and so on and so forth. Now in the future he will be awakening in the modern nights, I assume in the more modern lore or games of World of Darkness. While barely lifting a finger he will dispel the Tremere curse, kill the then current leaders of the clan, then move on to directing the children of Hakim to their dark and bloody destiny. Uh, not sure what that means in game terms. Tell me in the comments if you do know, but yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with this guy. And who else do we have here? Is this Nurgle? Is, is this like a Warhammer guy? <laughs> we have Baba Yaga. I love that. Baba Yaga is right here. But anyway, listen, all these people are too far away and we're not gonna get to all of them because we are just right here in small town Pisa and we're trying to do our best to be the Shadow Inquisition and we have a couple of decisions here as well. Listen, I'm gonna tell you this right now, I don't think we're gonna do all of these because playing the Inquisition in this mod is hard. The vampires are much superior to us and, well, I'm just a human, what do you want from me? How am I supposed to beat literal uh, Mithras? Are you kidding me? I'm, I'm gonna kill Mithras himself? Yeah, that sounds quite ridiculous indeed. This is the decision that I want to focus on, consolidating the Red Order. The Red Order is one of the five progenitors of the Shadow Inquisition. If you want to make a lasting success of the organization, you will need their complete support. So this means we need to form the Kingdom of Romania 
and we need to kill two vampires. That is Camilla and Fabrizio Ulfila. We already looked at Camilla, he comes from Rome, he is a chap. And then we have Fabrizio Ulfila, the little wolf of Lombardy, who I believe is related to like very early Christianity. So we're gonna wipe those people out, cleanse Christianity and have a good time all around. And oh lord, I told you this is much more roleplay than anything else in CK3 and CK3 is already crazy roleplay. Now you have all those trees that you have as a werewolf and as a vampire and I might play those in the future but for us we have this right here and um, we can go down the beatific beatific listen don't even don't even talk to me okay we can go go down this tree and we have already done this this gives us a massive bonus to you know for example everything related to night effectiveness but we can also mass convert the counties in our domain which is really good because they are like vampire worshippers and we gotta get those people out of here now what i do want before we die if i can get that would be the wrath of god thing because as i understand it this means that I can be very mean to other vampires, which, well, we gotta do, right? So let's focus on this and then indeed spec into this direction right here. Now look, I'll be honest with you, you can see there's a lot going on here. And again, vampires and werewolves and demons, I'm pretty sure as well, all have their own trees. We'll get to those when we get to those, okay? Don't worry about it too much. All right, now, as I said, this map is pretty dangerous because we're one of the few uh, humans. We got this guy up here. We got uh, her over there. And I'm pretty sure Rhodes and Cypress and such. Yeah, they are also part of the Inquisition. The rest are basically monsters. We got a demon right next door here who I don't really want to mess with. Now, he seems very, very weak, but I'm pretty sure that all the people serving in his court, all the vassals and so on. Yeah, Overlord Mammon of the Lord of Merchants would probably completely destroy my army. So I'm not going to mess with him for the moment. Uh, instead, I'm just going to go ahead and say, you know what? This little vampire, who the hell are you? You are a revenant, an independent ghoul born with vampire blood in their veins. Well, uh, why don't you go and say goodnight? Let's just take care of our direct neighborhood and then we try to explore whether we can't take down the Lombard and the Papal uh, Wizards. No, they're called vampires. There you go. Vampires in our vicinity. Right, and I do remember that all the buildings are drastically changed. We have Preach to Peasants, we have Catacomb Library, Church of the Inquisition, oh that is good, oh yeah, these are great buildings, and Convent of Saint Scholastica. These are giving us pretty significant bonuses. Now, Inheritance obviously here works differently, right, Ultimate Janitor. Oh, can I like... Oh, we are all of the Red Order House, meaning our dynasty legacies will actually stay around. And we got unity and meritoc uh, meritocracy as our custom, as our special dynasty legacy tracks here. Uh, I wonder whether these... Oh, you will complete, uh, complete find lair schemes faster. That is really good. You can kill a vampire by finding their lair and then, well, just, you know, ramming a good old stake into their heart. Pretty classic labor. Oh, and now I understand why this guy is one of our arch nemeses. He is in a position where... What the hell? This guy turned to stone. Ventru, the lord of the night. Oh, he is the father of clan Ventru, I see. Ah, interesting. But more importantly, this guy used to be a cardinal. And then we have this guy who created the Shadow Pope, I guess. Yeah, we gotta take them down for sure. All right, and I am being interrupted here by story exposition. We are a person that has been cursed. This guy lives somewhere in Marseille. And if we take him down, then we can surely actually put ourselves into a more long-term position. We're 21 right now, but we have this curse on us. You're going to see it right here. A petty curse will not end me. As Vittoria, you have a special decision to get rid of the curse by taking Marseille. You gain supernatural curse. Yeah, catastrophic penalty. That is terrible. Um, Marseille, huh? So that would be, what, Provence? Oh, and I completely forgot about this. Do we get any? Oh, we got witch hunters. I love that. They are... Yeah, they are crazy strong, but as I said, um, this is much more roleplay. The characters in your armies are going to be much, much stronger than they ever could be in vanilla. So having a pretty, pretty strong minute arms force here is actually, I think that is going to win it for us. Because our knights, yeah, are going to be much closer to vanilla knights than they are to, you know, vampiric knights. But look at this dude, by the way, a hunter, holy bulwark, he is great. And now even the Pope says, you know what, you shall get this done. The Shadow Inquisition can take them down. Long live his holiness. You gain full papal support for five years. Oh my god. Yeah, that is mad. Uh, thank you so much. All right, and a win is a win. We are being raided though by who the hell is this? The first raiders of Orbitello. Look at her, man. You gotta see a doctor. You look sick. You look sick and frail. Uh, can I defeat her here? Oh, defeating her. That is some really nice value right there. Now, we have taken over Luca, and you will see that Luca, oh, is actually a part of the Inquisition. Interesting. So, 
That doesn't change anything. I think this is vanilla as well. Listen, doesn't matter. We got some money from the Pope. I could invest it in, you know, for example, my private possessions, but I think I would rather be better at sieging and better at fighting. Because if we do that, only then will I actually be able to clean house here. And obviously, first, I need to take Marseille. Now, he doesn't have an ally, so that's pretty good. I, I think we can take him down. He's 8th generation. This guy is a lowlife, even for vampires. That's a cool flag. What are you? Patriarch Augustus Giovanni. Huh. Uh, okay, anyway, let's not lose track. This guy right here needs to go. St. Duke Regis Andrew. Um, I'm going to take over Provence. Okay. He would intervene. Ah, uh, can I get an ally from anywhere? Sunder? What is this? Gain holy weapon for one year. Prowess plus eight. Oh, we got magic, right. Uh, what can I do to you? Penance. Ooh, that gets rid of a whole lot of stats of his, but it costs uh, quite a bit in piety as well. Ah, oh, man, the entire economy here really is different because, yeah, we're generating a whole lot more, but we have to use it a whole lot more as well. Judgment of Heaven. I must be at the same location as the victim. Interesting. Oh, leave it without means of escaping imprisonment. Crazy. All right, wait a minute, though. We have Ultimate Genitor, right? How do I get new heirs? Right now, we have a sibling here. If I look at you, for example, could I, like, could I get you to be a part of my order, of my family? Uh, recommend pupil. Offer ward. Recommend pupil. You're not part of the same dynasty? Right. I don't know. There has to be some kind of way, right? Because I do know that if you are a vampire, you can create what they call, I believe, childer. So this guy right here is a childer or a child, whatever. Hmm, but then how do I generate new people here? You know what, I'm not sure, but I wanted to live, so even if Lombardy comes in, I think we're cool with that. I think I just gotta, I gotta go and claim Provence. There's not really anything else that we can do here. Oh, wait a minute. I can get some alliances. Who is this guy? He is within the realm of God's scribe, right? So in England, why can I make a... Oh, you're my player heir. So because you're technically part of the Red Order, we can get two allies right here. And then he is in Uperen, so he's in Belgium. Yeah, let's get some alliances here and actually invite them to this war because I need to get it, but I'm afraid that this fella here will intervene. Oh, but we do have an actual artifact, Ring of Chrysostom. You can use Bless even if you don't have the perk unlocked. This ring, a silver band with a rough cross engraved on it, is rumored to have been worn by Saint John Chrysostom. I assume that is, uh, like, the Saint John? Sadly, we don't know anything, so who the hell knows, but it gives me magical powers. I'll definitely go with that. And you know what, just because I want to see, okay? Uh, could I romance a vampire in this? Dislike zealous? If I wasn't zealous, if if I could sway a vampire, I could... You think they could turn me into a vampire while I am a part of the Shadow Inquisition? Ooh, a bit too advanced for me, I fear. All right, all right, but you vile beast will be felled. <laughs> and this guy will be felled as well, if necessary. Let's hope that it isn't, okay? Uh, let's go in here and see what we can do. I'm just gonna march over and hope that I can capture them separately and then, you know, kill them right there, but we'll see. Obviously, I'm gonna go ahead and actually call in my fellow house members. This is for my own survival. So yeah, we got it. It doesn't even seem to be costing me any prestige. Oh, that is oh very convenient. The cost of this is very inconvenient. Inconvenient. That sucks. Wow. See, I am now realizing that maybe I shouldn't have spent all the money the Pope gave me, but hey, listen, that's neither here nor there. Let's attack these vampires. And you can see, yeah, our odds aren't great because I am in debt and they just have really good knights. I assume at least the Lombards here. Yeah, look at these stats. That is crazy. What are my knight numbers in comparison? I, I don't think we're even close. Yeah, we are not even close. Three of theirs defeated our last standing knight. That was a rough one. And oh God. Oh no, somebody immediately died. Baron Alessandro of Pistoia. Um, I'm gonna take this. I think I can hold it, right? Or is this against what I can hold? No, I think we're fine, which ultimately means, man, that is massive. I can just get more income from this and hopefully it goes well. My order dying in the fight for Marseille. Listen, if it helps me financially, I will take that. All right, so basically my entire order just got wiped out in this one fight. Uh, that really sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna hand this out just randomly. Yeah, they basically got wiped out because, you know, we lost the battle. Uh, it is what it is, okay? It is what it is. Uh, fellas, 
how do I repopulate my holy order after I lost the battle against vampires? All right, and at least it was not for naught. Um, we won a battle, we have finished this war, and ladies and gentlemen, it's over. Now let me ask you, sadly he still lives. We killed a bunch of the vampires, but evidently not enough. Did I capture anybody? No, ah, that is rough. And now we can finally press this decision right here, the curse. You lose supernatural curse. Oh, that's it? <laughs> All right, well, I may live, which means we have a really good life ahead of us in debt. You think you can ask the Pope for money again? Is there, is there like a decision anywhere? Can I go like, Pope, I, I conquered? I, I kicked out some vampires, but my God, I have no money. <laughs> I don't think there's a way here. But you know what is actually free? Well, trying to find the lairs of my enemies. And I'm thinking about this now. I would definitely try to do this. The chances here are the same between both of these. Uh, I think this is the Eye of the Beast. The vampire can uh, will a supernatural red gleam into their eyes, giving them sight even in total absence of light. Ah, so he has that feature which makes it harder for me to find him and, you know, of course, stay undetected. Listen, you gotta try, right? You gotta try to Roman's Overlord Mammon. What else is the point of any of this? Wait, this dude has wings? Wait, I did not see that. Does he actually have wings? He has wings, hello? What a lad. What an absolute lad. Uh, I will sing him a love ballad. He seems like somebody that would like it. Oh no, Lord Mammon stinks like crazy. It was me. I farted. Oh, and we can now pick up our very first Dynasty Legacy. Um, every- oh my god, every new Inquisitor will be strong and athletic. Hello? An order of Chads and Stacys. Every new Inquisitor will have their education quality increased by one. Every new Inquisitor will have higher occurrence or quality of positive congenital traits. This is insane. The true faith. Uh, wow, I really love meritocracy. Now, unity on the other hand, you will have a better chance, uh, success chance when choosing the martial or stewardship approach in the find layer scheme. I need to kill these vampires. So I'm gonna take this for now, but both of these tracks are really good. Wait, and I didn't even, I don't think I got an actual event for the Finding Lair Scheme ending. So what happened there? Did I fail? I, I have to assume that I failed, right? What if we try to find this guy's lair instead? When Mammon invited me to a hunt, I did not hesitate to accept. <laughs> I love his wings, but also, I'm coming for you, my love. No! He rejected us. He has to die for that, quite frankly. He has to die. Now, just for the record, we do have a different demon in the neighborhood as well. It is this one right here. It is Overlord Aris, the Lord of War. I think he's a demon anyway. Yeah, there you go. He is a Wrath. And obviously, I'm going to utilize this by also trying to romance him. Let's see what we can do. All right, come on. Come on. Let's go. We share a kiss. Oh, we don't become lovers. You coward. You absolute buffoon. But I did share a kiss with a demon, so I will take that. And not just that, we are now actually positive, which means that our men at arms will replenish, and once they do, well, we're back in business and can actually go to war. Ah, advanced obfuscate was used by your target to end your scheme, so that is how the one against the uh, papal guy must have also ended. Basically, they have a counter to me trying to find them, which makes a lot of sense. They are vampires, I'm, I'm just a lady. Hmm, but let me ask you something. Curious. No, what we're gonna do now is we're going to keep conquering here because again the long-term goal is obviously taking him down. Why does he have so many troops? Oh my god. Uh, we're gonna keep conquering and see what we can do, but ooh, right now my odds look pretty dire. And when you look at that, I have captured a ghoul. Now what can I do with him? I could torture him, um, which sounds pretty good, but doesn't really do much for us. Or I could burn him at the stake. It gives me true faith experience. Oh, so it is actually really worth it just for the lifestyle experience. Uh, it gives me obviously negative stress. It, ga it gives me some piety. And that is about it. Oh, renown. Ooh, I need to capture as many as I can. Getting those dynasty legacy perks would be amazing. Now, the interesting thing that I have noticed here is that I'm always having trouble with money. Basically, no exceptions. But we're not actually building with money, at least not the majority of our buildings, which means... Yeah, I can get additional income just from spending, for example, piety or in some cases prestige. And I think that is exactly what I need to do here. I mean, yeah, more money means I can wage more wars and that money is exclusively spent on the wars since everything else is built with other resources. Very nice. Understanding that, though, definitely takes a while. 
You know, before we go for the big boys, maybe I need to get better at finding lairs of all the nerds. This guy, oh, he's also actually fourth generation. I'm looking for somebody that is weaker, for somebody that is worse, somebody that is having a worse time just in general, if possible. They all seem fairly strong. Maybe this guy right here, right? If I try to find his lair, the percentages here are definitely better. And maybe I can learn how that actually works? Rah, look at all these prisoners. Now that is what I'm talking about. I need that renown. And obviously we're gonna burn you at the stake just because- Oh, you- Oh, you're just a commoner. You do, you're just a guy, actually. This is actually just a guy. He's not a vampire, he's not a ghoul. He's just like, hello, I'm a dude. <laughs> he's all just guys. Only one person here was actually worth anything. The rest is just like, hello, I am a human that you have captured. Uh, you can stay there. Don't worry about it, okay? Ah, you think I can recruit these guys? So this guy obviously has the wrong faith, but that doesn't necessarily need to mean anything, right? I can lay on hands, heals your wounds, uh, soothing the aching soul of Arnolfo. He loses stress, I understand. Intercession, giving them some piety and a small chance of gaining the true faith trait if they don't already have it. Okay, I'm not really interested in any of these. Instead, I can demand conversion and recruit you. All right, so we now have him in our court as part of the Inquisition. Where do we go from there? How do- Oh, ordination! I could make him my pupil hunter and I assume that will add him to my house, right? Yes, I think, maybe. Oh, and we now have a new Pope and he doesn't really buy into the whole idea of the Shadow Inquisition. Yeah, that sucks for us. Alright, now let's see whether this works. On the hunt, you have finally tracked down the fiend to its lair. There can be no mistakes as the poor people of the surroundings have clearly lost the love of God. They're paranoid, soulless husks, afraid of coming out at night, and even the church lies barren. You and your small entourage are clearly the only hope of this place. Um, we can preach here. Right, so basically these are different challenges that we could choose. We're pretty decent at all of them. But if I'm not mistaken, um, didn't we, didn't our bonus make it so that indeed Marshal or Stewardship, that is what gives us a better chance. So we probably want to go with Marshal. 60%, um, we do have learning pretty high right there, but we're gonna go, we're gonna go with, uh, with Marshal, okay? Let's try to defeat him by actually storming his castle and striking him down. As the battle still rages inside the castle, you know that victory is in your grasp. But is, is the cost worth it? Its defenders were prepared and numerous traps have already claimed the lives of the good soldiers of God. Is one dead fiend retrib a retribution enough for these poor souls? It isn't too late and you might still call off the attack for today, but the vampires will obviously use the knight's cover to escape or you press on and always carry the burden of the good men lost to a worthy cause. Grant them solace. If you have the true faith lifestyle, you will get some faith lifestyle experience depending on the age of the vampire killed. Oh, because he, uh, I chose somebody obviously that sucks a bit, which means that we don't get that much XP and we gain sleep deprived. That doesn't really matter that much. Oh, the renown is so good. Oh my God. Uh, we're going to go through with it, I think, right? Yeah, grant them solace. Let's push through here. There's really only upsides except sleep deprived, I guess, so I will definitely take it. Count Panfio the Impaler is gone. Uh, and now, oh, why is Pomerania down here? <laughs> she inherited, I guess it was a relative of hers, somehow. Either way, we now know how that works, and now I'm like, ooh, maybe I shall try. I could just try to murder him. Oh, I get the drawback, yeah. Unless you spend resources here, unless we spend money to advance it, it will take ages. You know what, we're gonna stop this. Um, I definitely want to hunt them. Oh, and here's no troops. Now, we still have our old war going, don't get me wrong here, but... Well, Pomerania is kind of occupied. I, I don't think we have too much to expect here. Uh, I'm gonna declare war against him. Oh my god, I can just go for Latium. I'm gonna do it, right? I'm so scared, but I, I'm gonna do it. This guy seems really weak right now, so I might as well. Oh, and we have taken Rome and we claimed the artifact on hunger and satisfaction. I don't know what that is, but don't worry about it. First authored by the founder of Via Peccati. Oh, this is an actual incredibly important court artifact. Can I use that or is that not vi- Oh, it's viable for me. Wow, same faith opinion plus 20. I guess it just goes to show what a great inquisitor I am and they all respect that. Uh, right, I also have this war banner captured that ages ago. Don't worry about it. Get absolutely embarrassed pal he has 20 troops um listen this is it for him i think he is as low as anybody can be Whew. and while he still exists and we are trying to hunt him down i say trying very carefully here because yeah the chance isn't the best the red order has taken rome itself beautiful
All right, all right, all right. Let's see. We have actually found his lair. Now, this one is way harder than the previous one. The small folk isn't yet lost to darkness, let us preach. Again, we should focus on Marshall, most likely, anyway. Um, although, honestly, that is not a great shot here at all. I, I do like learning, and we have been good at learning. A draw. The fiend will still cause issues. Let's try learning, right? What do we do here? Um, I might have something about this particular demon in my books. We know Duke Camilla Pontifex Maximus of the Damned. We killed him! You were quite happy to see that you had some old mentions of the particular fiend you tracked down in your books. You were even happier to learn of their peculiar attachment to a still-living mortal family. How? Is this like a super distant relative? Anyway, no matter, this was an easy enough information to exploit. This might come in handy for the next one. Oh, the gain, the renown, it is beautiful. One of the two that we need to get rid of is now gone. And immediately I will turn around and say, it's your turn, buddy. Fabrizio shall go down as well. Now, I did actually pick up a perk here, Wrath of, the, uh, of God, and we're gonna try that right immediately, basically. I'm also gonna continue. Oh my god, personal scheme power, that is amazing. Now this isn't a personal scheme, but wow, um, I surely can do a couple of things with that. But what I want to test is Wrath of God against him. 1% he dies and I gain 450 renown. 14% he gets, oh wow, these are all really good, no matter what it is. And can I make this, oh my god. Wait, how is this decided? Oh, the cost, I see. I'm gonna spend 500. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say 500, listen, a, a quick 500, right? But then again, 1,000. And we're getting so much piety as we go here. I exert my will to the utmost extent. Come on. Oh, we disfigured him at the very least, and he's severely injured. Ah, if he goes into torpor, which is like him basically laying down in a sarcophagus and just going to bed for a while, that would also fulfill the requirements. So please, go ahead, my friend, and just go to sleep. Ooh, I am told Lord Mithras, the contemptible patrician, has vowed the Red Order to be eternal enemies of his family. He has actually raised some heckles. Um, wait a minute, are you like in the same dynasty? Ah, it is both Ventru. So I assume that he basically went, you can't do that. That's illegal. Please stop doing this. Because I have killed a whole bunch of people here. And honestly, fair enough. We need to take him down as well. The feeling, doubtlessly, is mutual. Let's go! If you have the true faith lifestyle, which I do, you will get some faith and we get renown and we completely hammered this kid. Oh my god, it feels so, so good. Discover the target's context among mortal men, allowing you to cripple their influence. I don't know what that means, but both of them are gone now, which means to consolidate the Red Order, I just need to hold Romania and I need more money. That is it. All right, now while we have a feud with them, and while I'm literally just saving money to get enough money, well, you know, to actually take that decision, uh, why don't we go ahead and try to find this guy's lair? Let's kill Mithras after all this time. I might even go ahead. Ah, oh, we don't have the piety. I'm gonna smite him later. He's gonna die though, one way or another. And you know what? I think it is time. He rejected me. Mammon, it is time for you to die. Let's get him out of here. Well, unluckily, we did not actually capture him, but it is what it is. The war is over and he's done. What, what happens to him now? He's just a guy. <laughs> he's just a dude wandering the area now. Well, uh, at least he's gone from Genoa. Genoa has been through enough. All right, come on, buddy. Come on, pal. Uh, he needs to go. Much like all the others before him, he needs to go. And I think the best we can do here is this learning challenge. Oh, a book too far. This fiend is elusive. They have already avoided two of your carefully planned traps and you are starting to lose some ground. A possibility remains, though. One you chose not to until now, given its mystical nature. The Holy Church would certainly not approve of such a choice. Right, um, we will kill him here, but I will lose piety, and quite frankly, this is a an absolutely, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Mithras is gone. We've done it. Easy money. Oh, and what we can now finally do, and I think this is definitely the smartest thing for us here, is a mass conversion. Cost us 500 and boom, every single county has now turned to Inquisition, which means they're gonna be a whole lot more quiet and a whole lot more prosperous. Very nice. Look at all these factions disbanding. They were all like, we're gonna rebel. No, you're not. Wait, what? I actually got scammed. I got scammed by the game. I succeeded in building the Red Order and now was waiting until I would have 100 bucks at 1000 bucks because that was the requirement to really restore the Red Order. 
and now he did it before me. Are you are you joking? <laughs> what? Why does he get to claim this title? I I wanted to be the heir of the Inquisition. Are you kidding me? Uh, with his newfound focus, the Red Order. What? I actually got scammed. Listen, I'll keep it a buck fifty with you. Um, the only thing <laughs> that I think would make sense now in terms of where we are and what just happened would for me to turn into a vampire. <laughs> what a scam! I got scammed. What the hell, man? Um, all right. As ridiculous as that is, the final decision that we were supposed to be taking was taken from us. Uh, that really sucks, but be that as it may, we are now in a position where we did basically everything that I wanted to do just to take a look at Princess of Darkness here, and I'll leave you with that. If you want me to continue this save, then make sure to leave a like. If there are enough under the video, then of course we might continue it, but other than that, I see ourselves here hopping into a different character in Princess of Darkness just to check out what demons, vampires, or even werewolves can do. Listen, I'll leave you right here, and I'll see you later, alligator.